Atlanta Plugged In starts now. During Black History Month, an important new study looked at why the pandemic has disproportionately impacted minority communities. Joining us to discuss this groundbreaking study are Laron Nelson, Professor and Associate Dean at Yale, and Bob Ginter, President of the Defense and Civilian Sector of SAIC. Welcome to you both. Laron, I will start with you. Can you share the challenges minority communities faced as a result of the pandemic? Sure. So we found that there were really three main issues. Uh, the first was access. The COVID-19 vaccine was not always available in the places where people wanted to receive it. And it was not always available at the time when people were ready to receive it. Uh, the second was the issue of language. Uh, there needed to be information provided in language that people could understand and readily access. Sometimes that included language being available in Spanish uh, or languages such as French or Haitian Creole, which uh, we see in black communities. The third was trust, that people did not trust the systems that were put in place to help mount an effective response. That really started back <laughs> during sort of the uh, development of the vaccines. People were worried that the process happened too quickly, they didn't trust it, uh, there was not trust in how the vaccines were delivered and communications around that, though that was the system. And then finally, even how the vaccines were administered in the healthcare system. So those three things really did come together to, to complicate this response for black and other minority communities. Bob, can you share more about SAIC and why the company commissioned the study? Sure, yeah. Uh, SAIC is a 25,000 person engineering, uh, technology, uh, supply chain management company that does uh, solutions and services uh, for the federal government. We, we wanna make sure we look at systems from beginning to end. When we solve problems for the government, it is making sure that we understand the end result that's important, not just the activity levels in between. So as Laurent talked about it, each one of those components that we found uh, in the study is a component of that system. And we wanna make sure that we address all of those things to be the most efficient and effective uh, in getting things into the hands of people that will utilize them well. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. For more information, visit saic.com slash COVID-19 research.